Well, hello everybody. Um, about this time now, on the Bodger's Ball, we would be working on the handles. And the um, stage we will have got to by now is we'll have done all the outside, except for this last piece, and we will have done all the hollowing. Um, there's bits of tidying up to do, obviously, but we can do that later on. Uh, but the next last big bit to do is really the handle. And what I like to do is have a very thin handle on a little picture. So you can see the top design there, okay. So what I'm gonna do is try and end up with something like this. You could go whatever you like, could put a big hole in there if you wanted to and just drill through now and work around there with a knife. But what I like to do is something a bit like that. What you've got to do first is just tidy up some of these side pieces with the ax and then we can uh, put a line where we want to do the stop cut, basically. Okay, so uh, I'll try and work through with that, see if you can follow me along. Can you see? I think you can. So we're just going to just tidy up some of this first. Just so that I can draw that line on. And obviously I don't want to hit this with my axe because I'm just going to split right through the whole thing so I'm, I'm always just very careful about that actually hitting this here with the bottom of the axe it tends to to help control that and I just do this and I'm obviously working into this um, stop cut that I've already made so I know the pieces are going to come off easy Okay, so it's a bit slimmer now and it's a bit easier to see where we can put our line and easier to put the saw cut in to remove this big book. So what I do is I press on the back of there with my finger and I sight down it and I start to get a feel for basically how thick this wall is and I come out a little bit more just to make sure. And I turn it round and I try and follow the, the general curve of the inside. Okay, so I just keep looking and turning. Not all, all of them are the same. Obviously, sometimes this one's quite steep, but often it'll curve more in at the corner down at the bottom. I reckon if we saw down there, uh, see if you can see the angles, um, at this kind of angle down this direction, and then slightly change the angle and come vertical up to this point here, we can get rid of this quite easily. Okay. It's actually quite a tricky, tricky part of the old carving this. And that's the thing about coming on a Cooks of Carving course, you learn just about everything you'd ever need to know about carving in general. And you can just concentrate on this shape as a means to learn those uh, different skills. So we'll start off cutting at an angle, which is actually quite tricky. The saws don't really like to go along the grain, and we're kind of halfway between going across it and along it. So I know I'm way past, way past where I need to be. So now I'm going to come in at um, a more vertical angle. So the first thing you do is you can take out this chunk. And that always comes out nicely. And now I'm going to just look down this line here. And just uh, stop when I need to. And obviously what I'm doing is I'm I'm looking to see when I get down towards this end. Oh, 
I'm going to stop before because I want to form a corner. There's no point me going right up to this line where it meets the uh, the bowl. I stopped just before. And also, I need to check that um, I'm at the same on both sides, which I'm not far off. It needs to be quite, it needs to be parallel. There we go. Sorted. Now, what I used to do when I was big and brave, we used to just line this up here. Um, obviously, I don't want to come this side of the line because then the stop cut wouldn't work and all of the top of the cup would come off. And what I used to do is just line it just, just so you can see, just there, and then bosh all that off in one go. But I found out through uh, <laughs> a few character building moments that it doesn't always work as well and that all this can come off and that can just stay in your hand. <laughs> so I nibble away at it now in a couple of chunks and it's uh, it's less stressful. Okay, so that's the worst of it gone. And all it is, is just making sure that the tip of the axe corner there doesn't, doesn't make contact with the bowl at all. all right, and it just comes off. Sometimes it won't come off as nice as that and you'll get a curve. It'll come off more here, or the opposite, it'll come out. So what you tend to do then is just to keep turning it over, and you can see that starter tap in here. It's higher there, so that's where I was hitting it. So you can turn it around and just nibble off that way, and that way you don't have quite so many dramas with where that stop cut ends. You don't pull off more than you want to. Bit of a bump cut there just to all right, so that's just saved hours and hours of carving that out with a knife. You know, why would you at the end of the day? But we've got these big blocky sections here. Um, similar process for this bit. Do, find the pencil. What I do is, where do I want my handle? I want my handle to be about there like this. So a couple of stop cuts in here will help to remove this easier as well. Side. 